And not only from my country, I mean, he has to do a lot with the Caribbean in general, and especially the Hispanic Caribbean, um, our heritage, the process of uh, being civilized, <laughs> and uh, what civilized mean, and the sailing of the Caribbean of, uh, as a paradise, and my questioning of paradise, and more than have to do with the uh, existences, you know, and, and everything that I do, it is very historical. And usually I, I, I take um, historical events that geographically we can locate in the Caribbean, but really, usually the, the, the questioning is, is really something that is a universal question. It doesn't really have to be, you know, it, it can be beyond the Caribbean, but I do locate it in the land I know. And I, I, I really like to play with the idea of islands. I, I feel very related to islands because the, the, I understand very well the frontier, the liquid frontier that, that we have. And, and this need, a cultural need, and, and historical um, problem we always have, like we have to cross these frontiers. It's like a, we have to. It's something that we have to. It's like, you know, and th those inventions or this survivor, you know, about it. That we, we think everything that is after that frontier is better for some reason. And so I, my work had to do with a lot with that. And as I said before, I take things that are a historical events that usually affect a lot of people, but then I take it and I make it like a personal event, even I take it to be like a love story. Well, Sabana de la Mar is a leader point in the Dominican Republic, in the uh, northeast of the country, where a lot of the illegal trips to Puerto Rico are planned. And uh, from there we have a lot of tragedies, like every month there is a tragedy and somebody dying in the process of going to Puerto Rico. So then, this uh, curator and friend of mine, uh, and me, you know, we kind of got together because, you know, I've been working with lightsabers for a long time now. And the thing of salvation, I did a whole exhibition about the salvation story. So everything came together of these needs of looking for a practical salvation. And we came to the idea, why don't we try to do something in Sabana de la Mal? Uh, she, as a curator, was touched by, the, by, by, by the, the journey of these people. And me, every time I saw something on TV about these people, I cried. So we were totally touched by, by the whole story. So we decided to do a factory of how to construct lightsabers. And in the process of teaching how to uh, use lightsabers and the, the, the possibility of using this, the, the, this, uh, this piece as a way of saving life, it was also an interview with the people and, and some kind of like uh, understanding of why these people were crossing the, the liquid frontier. and. Uh, and then that not only touched my lightsaber, but it touched a lot of points in my work. You know, knows that I am the kind of person that I really have to edit my work usually because it's like I love so many things and so many mediums. I love to, I love contradiction, first of all. I, I love the idea of using something that is so technical just because it's so against me. So that's why 
I use it and then I make drawings. I make the animated videos because it's like to use something very technical and, and with so many rules and, and maybe the image of uh, uh, so new and then comes with something that is so pure. So I, I love to use different mediums also because it, it, it's a challenge. The most important thing is to be happy with what I do. I mean, one of the things that is the hardest is sometimes saying no to certain things that it seems to be so good because it's going to make everybody to know you. Well, that's not my way of seeing things. I, I've been following a path where I am very happy of what I do. I am very serious with what I do and I feel that this is uh, paying off because I what I want to be is an artist and is like in a very serious institution and, and, and it has a, a voice, a real voice uh, with, with what I said. It's uh, in the format, the form of things, the, the harmony in composition and the beauty of them is very important for me but the, the substance behind it, the meaning behind it, the complexity of, of my voice also have to be there and it has to be clear. So, so I guess to be developing in that direction, you know, it's gonna make me a successful artist for what I, for me, for what I, it is a successful artist for me. Well, I have two little girls. Imagine that. So that means women, <laughs> the complex personalities. <laughs> and um, I have one, Gabrielle. She's five years old and Montserrat, who is a year old, sadly a year old. And Gabrielle is uh, is being involved in everything that we do here. But she is very artistic. She always been artistic. She couldn't walk, but she knew how to hold a pencil and do drawings with her crayons. So I am so happy with being a mother. I feel so blessed by having a little girl like she is. And then my other one, my little baby one, she's just so happy with everything that has music. So we have music everywhere. My mother plays piano, so every time we go to Santo Domingo, of course, she's like, you know, the happiest kid. And also, in the last two years, it's been a big difference because I moved from Manhattan to Brooklyn. My big concern all the time was the community. I wanted to have a community that was artists, like, um, and open, and people similar in certain way. So I was so happy when I moved to downtown Brooklyn because I felt that it's like so beautiful. It looks like the village with all these beautiful historical townhouses. And then the people are so similar. Everybody's like moving, looking for bigger spaces, you know, and it's this artist movement. Everybody's like doing great things and very focused in their work. 